podcast is about your journey in music and how you got to where you are now. And I can't wait to hear about you. Finally, just put you put the third record out right in your trilogy. Yes, yes. The uh, <laughs> the brand spanking new record uh, is called Obsidian. Mm -hmm. That just came out, and it is like you say, it's the it's the third record in a trilogy, and it's it's a it's a unique trilogy, I guess, for me because the you know typically typically releasing albums for me would be like uh, you know there's a year between each one or or sure. something like that or like oh I'm 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 working on working on other stuff for like you know day job stuff to, of, for like uh, you know film TV music or or, or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, but with this one, the focus was the focus was entirely on this and like let's let's put this together in just a in just a really like not just have albums but have uh you know there's there's a, there's a there's a story behind it and there's and there's visuals and there's video content and there's all sorts of and there's all sorts of like it's the most in depth I've ever gotten with any of this stuff and the records were released a one month after another that's so, like, so cool october november and then some of the singles from uh from obsidian the newest one uh started coming out in december and then january the 15th the yeah very cool very cool that's so awesome well first off you were born and raised in uh phoenix yes okay talk yeah. to me about that a little bit uh i am a i am a desert rat at heart. <laughs> okay. We're in <laughs> and, San Diego, so not too far from you. Oh, awesome. Oh, San Diego is awesome. That is, <laughs> what a what a beautiful place. Uh that is so I currently reside in uh in, in Los Angeles, but yeah, okay. uh, right on. Grew, grew up in Phoenix. And uh it's a sort of thing where it's like that that uh that landscape his uh his not only inspired part of the Part of the new trilogy because there's there's a there's an album called copper so uh -huh. it's quartz copper obsidian uh and copper is copper is the one where it's meant to be this long desert drive sure and uh <clears throat> i mean even uh even the record quartz which you know p people who are arizona residents uh will will recognize like quartz and copper are are very big like that's right th those are things for arizona arizona sure um, but quartz was the quartz was my way of like making a record where it's like, okay, I'm going to make this thing sound like it's, uh, like you're, like you're driving back from blockbuster in 1996 after <laughs> running the movie split second for the hundredth time is my little elevator pitch for it. it, which makes sense to no one else, but me, cause that's something <laughs> I did, right. but, but it's like, this is what I would play in my car, but it's because it was like trying to capture the memories of of that time of like, you know, like, uh, like being in Phoenix in, in the nineties and, you know, like the, the stuff that was the stuff that was blowing my mind, like, uh, you know, like, Oh my God, putting guitars over drum machines. This is, this is, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Why doesn't everybody do this? You know, and getting way into electronic music and, and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know, it was like my first time, uh, I was, I was walking distance to, uh, to a, <coughs> there is a, there's a record store chain called Zia Records, Z-I-A. Mm -hmm. And I think they, I think they have some in Vegas as well, but I think it's, okay. it's mostly like a, Arizona. it's mostly like a, yeah, like an Arizona, like Phoenix and Tucson, okay. that kind of thing. Um, and that was, that was so much, that was so much a formation of how I listened, <coughs> how I listened to music, because at the time, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's different now. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, yes, it is. They, 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 they do now have more, you know, more stuff separated out by genre. But at the, <coughs> at the, at the time that I was going there, I, I was walking distance to this place and I would like save up all my money from like, you know, if I like, you know, somebody was like, Oh, I want you to, I want you to feed my cat while I'm gone. Or I want oh, you sure. to, you know, water my, my plants or something. I water my plants or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm trusting you not to kill this cat. <laughs> Do, you will feed it food. Okay. So, so like it, any money that I would get from that, I would take that to Zia. And in addition to having like new stuff and vinyl and things like that, they also had uh, used CDs. So okay. it's like, 
that's what I can afford. I can't afford right. new CDs, but seven bucks for a CD? Hell yeah, dude. Right. So it would be like, uh, at the time you would, you would, you would walk in and, uh, it would just be these rows of everything just alphabetically. So mm -hmm. it was every genre put all like all put together. It's like okay. there was everything from elect, you know, down like down later there'd be like, oh, here's like electronic compilations or here's soundtracks or things like sure. that. But by and large, all the band stuff, uh, you know, like, oh, here's Frontline Assembly, here's Fleetwood Mac, sure. <laughs> You know, right, so right, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was that sort of thing. So it's sure. like I would go there, and sometimes it would just be, it would just be off of someone saying, um, like how I first heard the band Skinny Puppy was I was at, a, uh, like I was at a my, my buddy and I uh, did this little electronic music project back in the day <laughs> called Voxus. Uh, and it was, it was us messing around with electronic music and making rave music and stuff like that and using uh -huh. computer trackers and stuff like that, just nerd stuff and making cassettes and passing them out to people and, sure. you know, finding, uh, and, and his, uh, uh, my, my buddy's brother, uh, also did the, like at the same time he was getting into Photoshop. So he ah. would make the art for it. And oh, cool. it's, it's the, the, those two guys, uh, now have this company dread empire where they do all these like fun sort of like all the shirts are like weird like horror horror sci-fi occult weird twin peaks kind of kind of sure things. sure yeah but those are the guys i grew up with uh grew up with and we were we were always doing creative stuff together mm -hmm. and uh like the like the guy who was doing the art for our you know for our, our weird little electronic project back then is the guy who does all my art to this day like he's wow. he's done the art for like he's done the visual branding for blue stolly the entire time even back to uh sorry that was probably my email that i forgot to close oh um, i didn't hear it <laughs> oh you got it um i'm like oh this is gonna be dinging off the rails uh <laughs> more off the rails than me already going on tangents <laughs> but it's that that's the sort of thing where it's like even 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 though even those things of uh you know sometimes who you grow up with and the things that you do while you're growing up like the like the like the fun little creative things that you do mm -hmm. in I, I kind of feel like you're always chasing that for a little you know because doing um like do like doing the courts record for the first time it felt like uh it felt like the first time in a long time it's like this is this feels like the first time I'm making music again. Uh, it like back uh, back when I was first messing around with electronic music because I was specifically trying to capture what it was like in in Phoenix, trying okay. to you know tr trying to do that. Sorry, I'm like all over the place with this. No, this is perfect. <laughs> again, I was. This is my my fa my famous line is nobody cares about what I have to say. They're all here for you. So <laughs> <laughs> I care, damn it. <laughs> but, but yeah, but I guess all that to say that, that Phoenix really does. Uh, it's like that, that, that time growing up uh, in the, in the, in the formative years in that uh, was really, was really why this exists. I mean, even the, like right down to the, piano that's behind me <coughs> right now which sits underneath this uh so that painting is one huh? that my uh is one that my grandpa did wow and <coughs> when i was uh when i was eight years old he uh he he brought me out to the garage and set up an easel uh we set up his easel and then set up this like little easel and he had he taught himself to paint Wow. Uh, I mean, that's an incredible painting. Yeah, he was he was a he was a construction foreman. He had never like done anything creative in his life. And then one day uh, he said, well, I'm going to paint, God damn it. And people were like, no, you, you don't know how to, you don't know how to paint. And he's like, yep, I'm going to paint. So he like bought a bunch of like a, a bunch of paint stuff and uh, like he bought some paints he, he bought like all the stuff that he would need for it he was a carpenter so, you know carpenter in, in addition to a foreman so he like 
built his easel right and right. then uh, <laughs> and then started to like him and his wife and, 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 and another relative were like started doing like landscape stuff and things like that and it's like well shit, he's great at this yeah he is and that was that was just like his it was it was just such a cool way of like there's there's creativity in everybody there's just a you know just how how it manifests so uh when when i was a kid uh he he, he brings me out in the you know like opens up the garage and uh, he's like okay we're gonna sit in the shade because it's phoenix obviously you need the shade uh but we're gonna be outside a little bit <laughs> he sets up two uh two blank canvases and he says i'm going to show you i'm going to teach you your way out of difficult situations and i'm like okay awesome that's going to come in handy i'm eight this is going to be heavy mm -hmm. and sure uh and and he starts he starts drawing i'm like okay okay cool and he shows me he's like you follow what i'm doing so i started i started doing the same and uh <clears throat> He eventually guides me through making this. Uh, I still have the painting here. Wow. Um, uh, we we made a. Uh, I painted this little like mountain scene with trees and a lake and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And he's like, "Okay, here's how you do the clouds. Here's here's all here's all this stuff." And at the at the end, he's like, "Okay, now you're done. Now you have a painting." I'm like, awesome! I just learned a new thing. Uh, I learned how to paint. I'm, I'm eight, so I draw on lots of stuff. Right. I don't understand how this helps me uh, in every difficult situation. And he's like, here's the thing. This is your, this is your weapon. He, he, he literally said like, uh, like art is a weapon. Like this is, this is the concept here mm -hmm. that, which, which I, I have the, uh, I have the French for art is a weapon tattooed on my neck because of this. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, He's like, no matter what's going on in your in your life, no matter how bad things are, as long as you have a pen and a piece of paper, and it, that's that's your way out. That's your way to deal with this. And that massively stuck with me. So I was, I was, I was drawing before I was doing. Uh, I, I was convinced I was going to be like a like a like a comic book artist before I was. Uh, before I got into music and the music wow. took hold. I'm like, I'll come back to drawing. And I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask if you keep, if you kept up with the painting. I but... I didn't keep up with the painting and I haven't I haven't drawn in, in forever. The only other uh the only other like aside from music uh creative outlet is uh doing uh doing video stuff. So oh, okay. for this entire trilogy, uh with the exception of the death will have to run video uh and the video for obsidian which is coming soon mm -hmm. uh my wife and i did all the music videos rad so we just shot them ourselves <coughs> and then i edited uh the death will have to run video uh i just did the editing on that one uh but like that's that's the only other creative outlet but like what he said stuck with me not only not only with um not only as it pertains to the importance of uh of like me having a creative outlet or like everyone should have something that you know that is a uh a, a healthy way that they deal with difficult situations but also like how important it is to when things are when things are when things are bad that like that's that's also a a legitimate form of catharsis like it's it's okay to sit in the dark and listen to listen to the same record five times you know sure so that's the it, it really drove and that's i do that plenty you know <laughs> that are like long drives uh long drives listening to uh listening to music that's uh that's i can i can kind of pin that stuff that like you know trace that all back to uh to his um to his initial wisdom with that that's amazing well then so you were eight when you when you were doing you know the painting with your grandfather. But how did mm -hmm. how did you get into music? Where like what was did you pick up piano? Is it the first instrument you learned? Yes, <laughs> uh, and that is that is purely because this very piano right here 
it's built like a tank, this thing. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think we found out this was built in like 1910 or something like that. Whoa, that's yeah. amazing. And so this, th the the entire reason this is, that this piano is in our family is uh, uh, growing up, uh, my mom sang in the, in the choir at this church. And this piano was in the like, it wasn't, it wasn't even the piano for the choir because it's like, it's old and ratty and beat up and out of tune. Sure. And it was in the like common area. So oh, it's like- Like the practice piano? <laughs> yeah, it, it was just sort of like, oh, this is kind of the cafeteria as well. Because, <laughs> you know, cause it was like sort of like a, it was like a, it was like, it was like a church, but they also had like a school part to it. Oh, right, right, um, sure. So it's like, it was in the same place. Like they had a, like they had a cafeteria and just everyone would come and like, you know, beat the hell out of it. Like yeah. parts are, parts are missing from it. There's a part where like a, like a pencil sharpener was, was into it. Like not all the keys work. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, if you wanted to play, you're out of luck. <laughs> you're out you're of luck. luck forever. <laughs> but they were, because it was so beat up, uh, they were, there was one day where they're like, they were like, this, this thing is an eyesore. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get rid of this thing. And they were, they were about to haul it off to the dump. And, and she's like, she's like, this is, she's like, that seems like a very extreme solution to this problem. She's like, if you're just going to throw it away and like, I'll, I'll take it. She's mm -hmm. like, I can't lift a piano. So you have to like, you bring guys it. have to bring it here, but, uh, we'll she, take it off your hands. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And she, um, and she couldn't really play piano. She just wanted like a piece of music in the house. And she's like, ah, this'll, this'll be nice. You know? I have a kid, maybe he'll, maybe he'll be interested. Maybe he'll want to, maybe he'll want to learn about this. Maybe not. She was very big on exposing me to, uh, everything. So she, she's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what kind of person to be. I'm going to like expose you to all this different, all this different stuff. And you tell me what kind of person you, and you tell me what you like, man. So it'd be like, Okay, we're gonna go to a monster truck rally. Now we're gonna go to a ballet. Now we're gonna go to a basketball game. Now we're gonna go to this. And she's like, she's like, all of these are not one, one kind of person. This right. is all one kind of person. You, you know, you can like all this stuff, or you can like none of it. It's you. You tell me. You find your own thing. Mm -hmm. So this was just an extension of of her going like, this will be this will be an awesome thing to expose this kid to. Mm -hmm. So. She rescues the piano from the dump and in, <laughs> in our house, it goes, uh, in the little, you know, in, 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 in a little like spare bedroom that was just sort of like storage, like, ah, we don't, <clears throat> we don't actually have a garage. So this is where all the crap is stored. <laughs> um, so yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, she's like, this is the only room we have to like, this is, there is no room for this piano in this house. So here it goes. And, uh, like as a kid, I would like, just sort of sneak out and like, huh, making noise is fun. Maybe I'll mess <laughs> around with this. And I would, uh, I would, I would come out like, I would even like stay up late, like, like way past whatever my bedtime was supposed to me, uh, supposed to be. And of course, probably late for, you know, as I, when I remembered, it's like, oh yeah, it was like 4 a.m. And it's like, I was a little kid. It was probably like nine, you know? <laughs> right, right. And I'm like, no one else is up this late. This is insane. <laughs> and I'd come out and just like plink around on little melodies. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'd try to work out like, I'm like, let me let me find the theme for the A-team because that's badass. Let me, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure. And I didn't know how to, uh, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to read music or anything. So I would get, I would bring like one of those yellow legal pads mm -hmm. and a pencil and I made up my my own little notation system because I'm like, well, there's how the hell am I supposed to remember this stuff? I gotta I gotta write this down somehow. And like, there's all these music sheets. You know, she had all these like hymn, but you know, like it came in the bench with a bunch of like hymn books. Oh, and sure. Stuff. So I'm like, this is great. This is it's not exactly my style of music. Uh, and also, I don't know what any of this stuff is supposed to be in here. So I don't know. I guess I'll just make something up. And she saw me writing all that stuff down, and she's like, oh you if you if you're interested in this we can get you lessons to learn how to play piano I'm like uh -huh. yeah yeah okay cool and just around that time we had a um 
we had a neighbor, uh, a neighbor move in who, <laughs> it was a guy who his, his job was to play piano on cruise ships, which meant he was gone oh. for a couple months, but then he'd be home for a stretch. He'd be gone for a couple months, home for a stretch, and he had a piano in his house. And, and she's mm -hmm. like, see, he, he's got a piano. He's listened, listen how good he is. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. This is cool. Yeah. I guess I'll, uh, I'll, t I'll, I'll take, I'll take piano lessons. And it, you know, in the, in the back of my head thinking like lessons, I'm like I was like, I was having fun. Uh, I was having fun just like coming up with, you know, coming up with stuff on my own. I don't know about this. I don't know, but this lessons, lessons. business, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I'm like a little uh, formal. <laughs> this is this is gonna butt right up against my problem with authority. <laughs> and I I took three years of uh, I took three years of piano. Wow! And cheated my way through all three years of those <laughs> by way of uh, and and it's and the the way that I like to phrase it is that. It's because I have such a problem with authority that I don't even like a piece of paper telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So um, whenever the whenever the piano teacher would uh, give me a lesson, uh, she's like, OK, we're learning this song this week. Mm -hmm. And here's here's your book. I want you to take this home and you practice this and you and you you practice exactly this song and you come back and you uh, and, and, and play it for me. and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if it's good or not. Like, <laughs> I'm making her sound me. She's not, she was, she was an amazing, amazing, amazing teacher and amazing lady. Uh, but I would take those, I would take those home. Like, like, I'm not, like, I'm not super into Frere Jaca or whatever this is. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I guess I got to make these lessons work. And uh, I, I am learning how to do some new stuff on piano. So I guess, uh, you know, and the goal was to teach me to read music. I'm like, I, I kind of don't care about learning how to read music. I just want to make songs. Mm -hmm. So I would take the lesson over to uh, over to our neighbor who played piano on cruise ships and stuff. When he was home, mm -hmm. this plan fell apart when he was not there. <laughs> sure. uh, my teacher could not understand. She's like, "How come some weeks you nail this, and 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 then like there's just a stretch where like you had like you forgot how to play at all." I'm like, <laughs> "Ah, it's that's super weird." Uh, I would take the lesson over to him. I'm like. I'm like, hey man, could you? Uh, I'm like, you're the piano expert, so could you play this for me twice? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. He's like, you're you're interested in this? Like, I wanna I wanna help you you know I I wanna help foster that you know yeah that's that, awesome that creative spirit. So he would play it through, and he'd play it through again, <clears throat> and with uh with like the first pass, I'd be going like, okay, this is what it's supposed to sound like. Mm -hmm. Sure. His fingers are going here. Uh huh. Okay, I get the basic idea, and then the second pass, I would pay even more attention to when he turned the page. I'm like, right oh. when it gets to this part of the song, <laughs> that's when the page turns. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not reading that shit. I don't get, I don't, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, here's how it's, here's how it sounds. Here's when he turned the page. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then when that was fresh, I would take that home on this piano and like to the best of my ability. You know, of course it didn't sound right. Of course right. it didn't sound like what the thing is supposed to be because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was yeah. a kid approximating what he heard a professional <laughs> right, yeah. try to do. <laughs> right. So it's like it was god awful, but I, but it was <laughs> passable enough that I got through th that I got through three years of piano until she finally <laughs> until she, I did recitals in the whole shebang too. Wow. Uh, um, <laughs> And uh, she finally caught me one day. Uh, we were having a lesson as normal, and uh, she she goes, uh, uh, "I'm I'm playing the song," and I'm like, "I'm like by by this time, like I have my system down. I'm like, I got this. I've right, nailed right. this so hard. Oh yeah, here's here's where the page turns. Yep, <laughs> got that too." And she's like, "Aha!" I'm like, "What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean aha?" She's like, you can't read music. I'm like, you can't read music. I, wait, how'd, you, how'd you know? How'd you figure me out? And, and, and she's like, I put, she's like, I suspected this for a little bit. So on this week, I put a different song in front of you. 
Oh. <laughs> you played the song that I assigned you. You played the song that I assigned you last week. I put a completely different thing in front of you, and you were turning the page as if this was the song. She's like, <laughs> "How the hell did you do this?" And, and I'm like, "I will tell you that, but now I think I'm ready for guitar." <laughs> <laughs> and her, her, this this lady's son played in a rock band. Uh, okay. And, and I, I heard him one day just like wailing on guitar while I was waiting, while I was waiting for, uh, for, lesson. for her lesson. Mm -hmm. And I walked into his room and I'm like, that's awesome. Would you show me how to like, would you teach me how to do that? And he's like, no, what you should do <laughs> is buy a guitar and teach yourself. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Okay. I mean, you know, I also knew like, I know, I know you just don't want to teach me, but that's also very good advice. Right. So, <laughs> so like when I, when I, when I jumped into, uh, guitar, uh, I, there, there was a, there was a guy that I knew who was like friends with that guy, uh, who's like, Oh, actually, you know, he's like, Oh, actually my buddy's like home from college. He, he can, he can teach a guitar. And that dude taught me in the best in the best possible way because it was it it wasn't like super like he he had he had a great teaching style because it was like it was very loose and not uh uh it wasn't structured it was okay. very he's like i want i want you to find the stuff that you like uh so he's like there's not he's like there's not really a wrong way to do this if it sounds right it is right and he would he would do stuff like He's like, okay, here's, here's a, here's a scale to learn. He would, he would write it out. Um, you know, it was like, here's the little dots mm -hmm. on the, on the fretboard. I'm like, okay, I, those, I know what the, I, I know what those dots are. Like, I, I can't read tab, but I could at least see like what the, you know, like, oh, okay. I see that these are the only notes to hit and sure. I'd come back the next week and I'm like, Hey, can I, can I add, can I put in different notes can i like move this around he's like you can do whatever you want he's like if it sounds good sure mm -hmm. and um he gave me um he gave me uh the the, the song innuendo by queen on oh, wow. cassette and uh he, he gave me that and he also gave me the flash gordon soundtrack he's like this is awesome you need to listen to this uh and also innuendo by queen listen to this you're not going to be able to keep up with it that's not the point. I <laughs> right. want you to try to, and I want you to listen to everything that Brian May does in this song, because this is, he said, in some ways, this is everything that you need to know about guitar. There's rock and roll, there's blues licks, there's, there's, there's classical licks, there's everything is in here. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, like there's, there's big, it's Queen. So it's like, there's big theatrical parts, there's, sure. you know, there's hard hitting like rock shit. There's everything. <coughs> There's, there's everything you could want in this. Like, this mm -hmm. is everything encapsulated. And then he would also show the importance of like, uh, like blues improv guys. Mm -hmm. So he would, uh, so after like showing me like a scale or something like that, uh, then he's like, here's what our lesson is going to be. Our entire lesson is going to be this. I'm going to play, <coughs> excuse me, asthma is awesome. He's like, I'm going to play a chord comp and you are going to solo the entire time. You're going to come up with licks. You're Whoa. going to come up with riffs. And at a at certain points, I'm going to change tempo and I'm going to change keys. I'm not going to tell you when that's coming. I'm just going to do it. And your wow. job is to keep up uh, and find a way to find it and not and and not make it obvious to like an invisible audience that you fucked up. So I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> and wow. so like, yeah, so like a lot of the a lot of the lessons would just turn into like being jams. Yeah, it sounds like a jam session. Yeah, yeah. And then I would uh I like I'd come in like, hey, so I was like like so I'm I'm getting way into like ministry and like pl like playing along with some of these ministry records. Like it, it and he's like, yeah. You should. He said, <laughs> just play along with CDs. He's like, that'll teach you better than me. He's like, actually, he's like, you know, because he was only, I only had less like lessons from that dude while he was, you know, home from college. So it's like, right, you know, three months of that, and then and then and then he was back up north for college. So 
so after so I, like after three months he's like just play along the cds man you got it <laughs> so, so i still have no idea what real chords are i, just, I, just, <laughs> I don't know what i'm doing with any of this stuff I, <laughs> but you're yeah, just a professional musician <laughs> no clue what's going on <laughs> i don't that that's the funny thing like i don't even i don't even i don't even think of it that way like even even the fact that we're that we're having this interview is uh is wild to me because i don't I don't know. I guess I, I I guess I don't even think of it in that light. I'm just I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm just <laughs> I'm just grateful for the fact that I that I wake up every day and um, you know I'm <clears throat> I'm incredibly I'm incredibly fortunate to 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 be able to make music for a living. Mm -hmm. uh, it also means that that's that's a that's a ton of work. And this and this and this whole trilogy was a lot of like you know every night work until till uh, till three a.m. And oh, by the, by the way, good lord, the um, the, uh, the the Obsidian album I had to have uploaded uploaded to mastering uh, at five a.m. my time because it was seven a.m. their time. Okay. Uh, and so after an eighteen-hour day of of mixing, uh, then it was like. 4 45 in the morning that i'm uploading going like oh my god oh my god and i'm like oh they they need references okay uh oh my god yeah so it was like that was that's pretty much what the, that's pretty much like the like the typical kind of kind of worked like i'm not, not the trilogies I'm, I'm very glad to have like more of a more of a normal schedule even though you know like like if you're if you're doing like a like a like a like a film tv thing then that's mm -hmm. that's usually like can we have this in two days I'm like i guess you have to so you will <laughs> yes yes you will but like, like i don't are you asking or are you telling <laughs> yeah but like i i i just uh i'm i'm grateful that even like two people listen to this and i don't uh uh i don't i don't i don't, I don't take it for granted I, I i'm i'm as grateful for i'm as grateful for the fact that i get to make music uh, as, as I am for the fact that I get to breathe. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, how did you kind of make your break into the industry as far as like, I mean, you got lessons, guitar lessons, piano lessons, but how did the electronic music start and how did you like, you know, get your first break? So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm actually going to hit the, uh, oh, who's ready for some nerd stuff <laughs> right here. If, if you want to know, like the, like the most, uh, uh ironic thing uh -huh. it's a singer who has, has asthma. asthma ah i dude I, my son has asthma we've got the um we've got the uh, nebulizer and the all the whole all that fun stuff so oh yeah i know about i know about asthma quite a bit <laughs> it's, a fun, it's a fun journey it's a fun yeah, journey they actually I, made i found <laughs> which is most brilliant I, I can't remember the company that made it but it's an, a handheld nebulizer because my son is he's four he won't do the he won't even do the mask thing it's like oh it's like a nightmare we had to wait for him to fall asleep to do it but they make this new one that's like battery operated and it it makes no sound it's like silent and it does the whole like you know treatment in four minutes and they usually take like 15 minutes wow so he, he will hold it and like doo -doo -doo -doo. my wife found it online like it the thing is like life changing. <laughs> that's that's incredible. Yeah. So instead of 15 minutes of trying to hold him to get this the mask thing on his face, it's like here's this thing. It kind of lights up and it makes no sound. And he, four minutes and it's done. It's oh man, <laughs> making it making it like a like a less scary thing is sure is, is so man for, like for a kid that's that's so important. Also like I'm the I'm the sort of dude that like even. Even as an old adult, uh, I get like freaked out about like you know, like any any doctor stuff mm -hmm. whatsoever. So it's yeah. like as as less scary as things can be made in that regard. I'm I'm all about that. And it's, it's, <laughs> it makes me very glad that we're living in the time that we are now, where it's like you know, where, where it's cautious. like, like oh, I can't. Uh, can't get this kid to take his breathing, uh, you know, his, like his breathing treatment. It's like, oh, you're going to need some leeches for that. Go ahead. Yeah, you're going to need some leeches. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a world. But yeah, it's the thing is, like I said, life changing. <laughs> that's man, that's 
that's amazing god bless that stuff yeah sure sure <laughs> okay so yeah back to how did you how'd you do, how'd you get into this this whole life you know what i mean like how'd you break in so the uh so i had already done um i'd already done albums and stuff with uh with with, the, with those guys in phoenix we were we oh, were like a band we, you had a band and stuff yeah yeah uh so it's like we were you know we were like making you know we were making cassettes and stuff like that sure. so we were, we were already like uh like oh whoever will uh <clears throat> like whoever will uh will 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 put this out uh cool like that's that's a way that's a way to get this stuff out there mm -hmm. so awesome let's uh i i guess that's i guess that's the way to do it because also this was during the time uh this was during the time of like the, you know when, when when we were doing that there was like self-releasing was uh self-releasing was very difficult yeah it wasn't really an option and yeah <laughs> pre <laughs> and, like uh, streaming really yeah exactly oh yeah like the world has like completely opened up oh yeah with that crazy yeah and there was there was just like no way to there's just like no way to, to like get your to like you know get like get your stuff out there mm -hmm. uh and certainly no way uh certainly no way to do it for a living like i already i tried to um <laughs> i had tried to to like get in um doing uh doing music for like uh like movie trailers and mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that like i would <laughs> i would get off of my shift at starbucks in <laughs> back when I, back in phoenix then like drive out to los angeles wow with, with a cd of like of like here's the things that i did for that can work for a movie trailer <laughs> that's I was, awesome because i because i would like i was i was the geek who um i would watch movie trailers and stuff and uh uh, like I would just be enamored with, you know, like, okay, so, like, I know, I know what some of these songs are and some of them, some of them just aren't like, I don't think this is a band. I can't, I can't find anything about this, mm -hmm. but this song is, this song is awesome. This is like, how can, can I do that? I'll, I'll do that. I also had like zero confidence in myself whatsoever. So it's like, I, like, I didn't do any of this with the, with, with the thought of like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm the, I'm the best. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta share my magic with the world. Oh, everyone has <laughs> to, everyone has to hear this. I'm like, nah, that's it's the complete opposite of that. I, I was like, ah, uh, I suck. Uh, I just, can I just quietly kind of get some of this stuff out or whatever? Uh, and, um, but that, but that, but that meant that like music was, my escape for stuff because because my because my view of myself was uh was was so like i like i like i suck and i'm terrible and then i was like you know i was like well i don't i don't really want to go outside or go do anything or be around people i just want to be inside making my making my little things like i don't i don't want to be uh, uh like a rock star or like yeah. super rich or anything i just want to have like yeah, you didn't have like the ambition to like you didn't want to be like a front man in a band and be playing no. like uh, arenas and stuff. No, I, I had I had like I had no I had no desire at all to uh to be to be famous or or to like you, you know <laughs> you know like I don't like I don't care about being famous or rolling around on piles of money or, or anything like that. <laughs> like even back in um even back when I was like, you know, just like making music in my, you know, uh, in this little, in this little room where this piano was, this little like uh -huh. spare room, uh, <laughs> I was uh, like the, like the life that I pictured where I'm like, man, what would be the coolest thing in the world? Like I would, uh, like I would drive out with a buddy and like we'd go see like the Crystal Method play. Oh, wow. Play yeah. a show. Uh, 
and, and I would come back like all super inspired, like I'm going to make beats like that too. And <laughs> try to, you know, trying my best to, you know, like to, you know, reproduce this awesome electronic music stuff that I heard, uh, you know, or like the, you know, or like listening to, you know, skinny puppy or frontline assembly records, or like, you know, I got like way into Juno reactor and movie soundtracks and stuff like that. So I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh man, like, why can't, why can't a, why can't a movie sound like, you know, like you listen to the, like the movie soundtrack for something where it's all a bunch of bands. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like, it feels like they don't do that a lot anymore, but for a while they, that was like, that was, that the, was the thing. thing. Yeah. 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 Like, like, some of those soundtracks were amazing. Like, dude. Yeah. Like the, like the, I think they called it like an event soundtrack or something, uh-huh. but, uh, but like, I, like I would have the soundtrack to hackers and virtuosity, which okay. I view as classics, and uh, <laughs> and like the like the fact that the like all the genres of the genres would jump around from like, man, there's like rock stuff, there's hip hop, mm-hmm. there's electronic yeah. music. This is this is awesome. This like, I don't understand why this can't be one band who does this, and not just a not just a movie soundtrack. But maybe there's a way to maybe there's a way to get involved in both. Uh, that'd be that'd be that'd be super awesome and the only the only ambition that i had for myself was like okay i know that what i do that like you know doing that kind of approach where it's not a very specific uh where it's not a very specific like i am a rock musician or i am an electronic musician you know Mm -hmm. like and of that i only make house music or of that (laughs) i only I only do three chord punk rock and nothing else. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, or I or I, I only do prog rock and every song shall be, let's say, 44 minutes long with everything <laughs> having a solo. What do you think of that? That was, you know, like I never wanted to, like those are, all of that's awesome. All of those right. are super valid. Like that's not me taking a shot. That's me lovingly, lovingly saying, like all that stuff's awesome. It's just sure. like, I don't want to only do it. So I'm like, there's gotta be a way to, to like incorporate all of that stuff. And like, I already knew, like, uh, I'm like, there's like, I don't, like I said, I don't care about, like, I don't want a bunch of ad adulation or something. I, the, the life that I imagined for myself was like, I'm like, well, if I'm living off of what I make from that, then I'm probably, only going to be living in like a small car, uh, like a, like a small concrete room. And as long as I have, uh, as long as I have like a mattress on the floor to sleep on and, (coughs) and, and like a, and a computer, a computer, a guitar and a microphone, uh, then I'll, then I'll be able to, um, then like, that's, that's all I need. If I have that and I, and I have a way to get this stuff out, then that's the <coughs> then that's all then that's all i need to uh to be happy mm-hmm. uh it, which is that's 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 my mindset to this day i'm like i don't want to, i i i have no i have no aspiration to like be famous or you know or like i don't i don't want to be like like any of that shit which of course uh I, of course uh i, I know there's uh the 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 response from uh from most will be like that's that's good because it because it's not going to happen and like and, and good i don't want yeah it. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't but want you're it. on the opposite side of the coin right <laughs> you I'd, made a huge career of it it's uh, eh, eh, it's yeah it's good but <laughs> <laughs> it's i mean we we're uh, like we have a we we have a we have a house that we um uh I mean, the only the only way we have uh, the 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 house that we're in is with some of the is with some of the assets that uh, that that my mom left us when she passed. Mm-hmm. So if if it was ju- it was just off of mine, then like this wouldn't happen. Sorry, it's like I see the I see the sun going down, so now it's not going to be as hot. So I can finally open these up, and now it won't look like I'm a like a goblin in a cave. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I see I see the light not being on my not being in my favor anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, like we, you know, we we've got a we've got a we've got a small place that we're you know we're we're able to pay the bills and we can and we can buy food every week and I'm like, 
that's that's the that's the win like that's sure that that's that's it that's that's all that's all i wanted um but yeah i would uh i would i would start doing uh remixes and stuff uh for people and and uh just like over like music forums and 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 stuff like that like little like production like you know little like production music forums and stuff Mm -hmm. like that like i wound up meeting a dude who did music for commercials and stuff like that and was telling me about um he he had the he had sort of the opposite goal where he was where he was like he's like i do music for commercials but i uh but i he's like this is this is fine and it and it and it pays the bills and i can and i can feed my family with it uh but I want to, um, I want to do like more artist stuff. Mm -hmm. And he and I got like, you know, he, he and I got like talking back and forth and every, every now and again, I would, um, he would, he would hit me up and he's like, Hey, can you do, he's like, I'm doing a, I'm doing like a, I'm doing like a commercial spot for, for something. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you, can you like send me some guitars or, you know, we, we even messed around with like, uh, you, you know, like, oh, let's, let's try and do like a, like an artist track or something. And I would, uh, I would try to do vocals. And of course they were just absolutely God awful. Uh, <laughs> so he's like, I can't use the vocals. The guitars are fine. <laughs> he's like, the guitars eh, kind of, they're, they're, they're passable. You know, he's like, you know what? I, I, I may have someone else do this, but hey you're 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 learning uh but at least (laughs) but at least from that dude i i saw that like oh um you totally can't he he then started like you know djing out and stuff like that and making like artist artist material and stuff like that and uh uh i i don't know if he kept up with the with the commercial stuff but I, i i i just remember like very early on uh like I, you know, I'd, I'd send him some of the, some of my little, you know, tracks and beats and stuff like that, that I was making that was, uh, it was like, oh, these, like, maybe these could be something for, uh, you know, for like a commercial or for a, or for a movie trailer. And he's like, oh yeah, I think you're, I think, I think you're on the, I think you're on the right path with this. And, and at the time it's like my, my production was just, uh, it was not up to snuff for, for, for stuff like that. Like I, okay. you know, um, so it's, he was, he was very, he was very nice. Uh, he was very nice, but he was also very, very helpful. Uh, and, and, and very like, yeah, like some of this just won't, some of this just like, won't cut it. He's like, right, some right. of your, he's like, some of your artist stuff is cool, but like, mm-hmm. that's, you know, like that's, uh, he's like, I don't know if there's a way to blend those worlds, but, um, he was like, yeah, it's, but you, but you know enough to where you can, you can, you can figure this stuff out and you, and you definitely, you definitely have an ear for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so as I, so as I just kept on working on, on, on stuff like that, uh, like I would, I would send some of this stuff to, I would send some of this stuff to him and, and he'd be like, yeah, okay. So like, yeah, you're like, yeah, you're, you're getting this a little more, but, but, uh, but but like whenever he when whenever he would say like yeah dude, like dude this like this this isn't it you didn't hit it it would just send me back to you know it's like obviously it's like ah man mm-hmm. like that, that's a bummer but it just made me study it just made me study stuff like movie trailers or songs that I liked even more I'm like it just made me like okay let me let me sit in headphones and just sort of uh j- like just sort of like try to reverse engineer everything I'm hearing or like really pay attention to a movie trailer or, you know, I'm like, okay, what, what are the elements that are hitting? Or like when I'm listening to a soundtrack, like this band made it onto a soundtrack and, or like, I remember this song being used in this scene in a super cool way. Uh, but they only use certain parts of the song. Mm -hmm. So what about those parts? Like these people that, that make those decisions. So that was, you you know, it's like though the, those early experiences with like with that with that dude sort of like you know like pick and start right. uh in the, in in a very in a very honest way gave me the um 
kind of gave me the push to like, okay, I, I, I have better at this and it has to be on my own. No one's going to mm -hmm. do this for me. Uh, I have to, I have to learn how to do this. So it was just studying the hell out of, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, this needs to get to a point to where I can kind of intuit what all this stuff should be. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I, I, I got an opportunity, uh, I got an opportunity to, um, uh, to, to, to do some stuff for, uh, for a, for a, for a publisher and who, who were also doing some stuff with a label. And, uh, uh, that was, that was, that was the story. It's like, okay, that's, I now have the, I now have the ear of, of some of the people that are, you know, that, that have stuff for film and TV. Sure. And, and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's try and let's try and put some stuff down. And, and they were like, okay, show us, show us what kind of, show us what kind of genres you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, this, like this, this was the, this was the sort of thing that like, after, after sending my, after my initial attempts at uh, driving out to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like passing a CD around to anyone I possibly could it's like that's instant coaster that's to I'm like oh great cd it's a better beer. you know uh that's like ah yeah. oh, all of my songs uh no that's that's funny there's uh, a band i interviewed that talked about like getting cds from fans you know at shows like oh check mm. out my record and they, i forgot they called it free, like uh highway records they called they're like yeah that's another we'll, we'll add that to highway records and that that meant they were gonna throw it out the window <laughs> like drive home oh my I was God. Like, oh that's brutal <laughs> oh man. i've also i've also very much been the guy i've also very much the guy who like uh i i I, I did this once and, and I was like, like so embarrassed after I'm like, I can't, I can't do that again. Uh, I, I remember giving a cassette to, to, to someone from a band where it's like, um, excuse me, sir. I right. like your music and I do this. And I'm like, oh my God. I, uh, it, cause like, cause I know exactly how, I know exactly how, uh, how awkward that I was uh -huh. at, at that day. Cause like, that's hard to outside. do. I didn't be around, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't all about being around people. So it's like, oh my God, like, I know that, I know that I embarrassed myself in front of, in front of a band that I very much respect. So I'm like, I can't do that again. Plus they're never going to, I don't think that they're ever going to listen to that tape. And, and if they <laughs> do, it's like this, this music that I, this was music that i made in an 8-bit program an 8-bit program that already sounds bad and then put on cassette <laughs> so that's going to be so much worse so much worse but like you, you know i would do like you know pre-streaming pre and pre-youtube and pre sure. all of this other stuff it's like whatever i could do whoever listened to the stuff that i was the stuff that i was making however i could get that out i would i would i would try that and when i finally got a shot uh uh you know with 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 a with a publisher who you know who like they, like oh they actually they actually do real stuff and like, they yeah, also you know they, yeah it's like you know, they they play stuff in movies and they work with a label and, and stuff like that it's like oh they're like they they're they you know people who some of the people who do this like are finally are finally going like okay well what do you got mm -hmm. and they said like you they're like you sit down and you um you show us what kind of genres you can do mm -hmm. and uh like, but you have you have to back it up you have to like it's it, it can't be like oh i can totally do hip it's like it better sound like hip-hop like right like don't do it if you can't do it so i'm like okay Let's, uh, let's take a shot. So <laughs> I did, um, I did like 22, uh, I did like 22 songs, uh, that ranged in style from, uh, it, you know, and, and stuff was like stuff that I had already written. That was like, it's like, not all of it was made like right time. Some of it was like, it was on my hard drive that I had like, 
I had made for like, okay, this is totally something. Like, I know that this will work for uh -huh. like a like this. This is the sort of arrangement work for this. Uh, you know, like, oh, here's a cool like, here's a cool electronic arrangement. Here's mm -hmm. a cool rock arrangement. Here's like a straight up like, uh, you know, like like jazzy. The the funny thing is, all my ja like, all my all my stuff that was like super kind of like and breakbeat and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, people would be like like, oh, this is totally like Ocean's Eleven. Like, I believe you, I haven't seen it, but I'll bet we all listen to the same music, and that's why, and that's when this has that 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 kind of vibe. Cause like, yeah, sure. You know, because that's that's sort of like Fat Boy Slim kind of, you know, breakbeat and sampley kind of kind of vibe. Yeah. That's that's the that's the stuff that I loved. So when I finally had a chance to like, oh, you want to hear like like the different genres I can do, his, uh, and they and they were like, oh, okay, yeah, you 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 nailed it with this, wow. and like, we didn't know that you could like we know that you weren't just like, you know like a dark industrial guy or something like that. like oh you can do like super upbeat like 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 massively super uh like fun jazz stuff all the way to like trip hop and then even like super heavy stuff too so that's what that's what really the foot in the door with that stuff and it's why like the very first thing i did was stuff for film and tv and then that music also got put together to uh, not all the songs that I did for, for, for that, but like the best ones of it got put together into an album called Anti Sleep mm -hmm. and, then, and then released. Oh, and so, so that, that, that's all the, 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 the four versions of it then. Or volumes, my right, bad. Uh, so volume one, two, three, and yes. four are all compilations of songs that you had put that were placed. Yes. So, okay. so that was all stuff that was like, well, not, not every single song got placed, but it was all the stuff that was made to be placed. So it was gotcha. all for like sync music. So okay. That, that was my, that, that, that was the thing. They're like, okay, you, um, they were like, you're making, they're like, you're making production music. This isn't artistic representative of you. Like, don't feel like you have to like super show off. This is just going to play in the background holiday show or something you know who who knows where it's going to show up and, and i was like okay, that's 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 a not fun way to look at this like i still want to try like i still want to make this cool so right I, right right i like i'm like this is my shot i'm gonna put my all into this and uh and like, like this uh this kind of sounds better than just regular production music so like let's let's just put this out as as a record so I called them, uh, I called those, so they all got released as like, as like regular records. Uh -huh. And I called them anti-sleep just to like differentiate between like, hey, so this is an actual record. This is not a, it's not a fake, it's not me not trying. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that I love and I'm passionate about. Uh, it's the me I wanna make. Uh, I'm, I'm just also hoping with it that it shows up a, in a TV show and it's a, you, you know, or a, or a movie or something or shows up you know, shows up uh, as part of something, as part of something cool or something. Mm -hmm. like either either one is great. Sure. Um, <laughs> but 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 it's like that that stuff was just as valid as uh, it still is. Uh, it's just as valid as doing just like straight artistic stuff, and it's why it's why those worlds have always like blended together for me. Okay, and well, so after you're you're working for that production company. And when did you start? Mm -hmm. Like you released your, uh, you released a self-titled record that was like a vo like a, a record that you're actually singing on, and it's more of like an artist album, correct? Yes. Yeah. So that was the one that, like, after doing the, uh, sorry, that I see it's actually getting dark, so the lights on. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh hell. Uh, it is. I'm looking up too. <laughs> we're in San Diego, so we're Good just south of you. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. And I see that like those lights are going to blow out the screen. So I'm just going to pop those down and just use the overhead one. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, after I finished the, after I finished the, the thing, then it was, uh, then I could start working on artist stuff. 
And I, I took all the stuff that I had sharpened from, uh, <coughs> sharpened from doing the, uh, doing like the production music thing into like, into like, okay, well, now that I'm making an artist thing, like this is not a, like I still kind of view the other thing as I was doing an artist thing. Like it, that's, those are all styles of music that I really like. So, mm. you know, but, but they were, <clears throat> the, you, you, but, but there were, but there were also like, okay, if you're, you can, you can do that stuff. Now here's your chance to just do, you know, like just entire rock thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I, I like focused on doing that. Uh, but with the, with the same mindset that I was doing the, the, the production thing with, cause, cause I was like, this is super fun. <laughs> this is what I've always wanted to do, but I think there's a way that we can mix, we can like, you know, keep the two worlds together with this mm -hmm. thing. So that was like, like, just cause I'm doing a, just cause I'm doing an artist thing. Like, like, like after, after getting, after getting some placements and stuff with, uh, with the production music that really, uh, that was like, Oh, that was super fun hearing some, hearing some music that I'm like literally in, literally in a bedroom, uh, show up on TV and shit, you know, and, or like in a huge movie trailer. And I was like, yeah, there was a, there was like a little mixing desk in here, but this is a room that this was made in and like, and now, and now there's, there are scenes happening to it. That's awesome. Sure. So I was like, Oh, it's like, ah, uh, I can probably, I can probably do that in this, uh, in this, uh, in this artist record too. So it's, you know, which I say artist record, uh, but I mean, they're, they're, they're all artist records to me, but like, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, so, sure. So, yeah, but like, so that, that, uh, that all kind of continued, uh, and I like I would do, I would do this cycle of uh, I would do this cycle of like okay here I'm focusing completely on making film TV stuff sometimes doing custom work mm -hmm. and stuff like that where it's like you know things that uh, like if they didn't land then you know then the public would never hear uh, sure it was like ah yeah you tried sometimes I would take those and like turn it into uh, do something else like some of the uh, like if I didn't if I didn't land something in a, in a custom, something that they owned, if they were like, Hey, we're only gonna, you know, like you're, you're taking a shot at this, but you're doing it on spec, you know, okay. it's like, we're not, we're not going to pay, you. um, <coughs> which that's, that's not, that's not every gig, but that's some of them. Mm -hmm. The ones that were like that, I would take those songs like, well, I can, <laughs> I know, I know that there's a gem in here somewhere. Right. Right. So, so I, you know, like, yeah, let me, let me, let me polish this turd up and uh, <laughs> you know, turn it into something cool. Yeah. But like that, that just became my cycle. Uh, just like I, I got, I got way into like, uh, uh, like, oh, I'm going to do some film and TV stuff. And I'm going to write some stuff with vocals uh, <coughs> and just, yeah. just kind of go, just kind of go back and forth on that stuff. And it's, that's why it's very funny to me when, um, because I've, I've put out so many of those, uh, anti records. Yeah. And there's on, on those records, like some of the songs will, will have vocals, uh, and some of them will have guitars, but a lot of the times it's electronic mm -hmm. and it's purely instrumental. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I know that there are people, I know that there are people out there that, uh, only want a band to do vocal stuff mm -hmm. and I'm not that band. Sure. So, <laughs> so if, you, you, you know, like, if, like every now and again, I'll, I'll, I'll put something out and, and, and someone's like, wait a minute, what? Only seven, 10 tracks on this are, are vocal. This is, <laughs> this is terrible. I'm like, buddy, I, I've been doing it this way for 10 years. You're right. going to change. <laughs> it's like, in the face of the fact, I may not be the band for you. <laughs> I, I, I like what you like, but 
it's going to be this. It's going to keep being this. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what kind of led to like, that's like, because I had been, uh, the, the funny thing is when I, uh, when I, when I started doing the, uh, the, the trilogy, mm-hmm. um, this was the, this was the first time that I, uh, because there was such an emphasis put on, you know, uh, something that can work for film and television, you, mm-hmm. you know, like this, this should always have a purpose of like, it's, it's a song for this, but it also has this, this commercial potential as well. So, uh, I was, I was always doing stuff with, uh, with, with, with that in mind, Mm -hmm. uh, for quite a while, but that, I mean, that, that can also, sometimes that can be like, there's people who there's, there's people who are way more talented than me, who know how to know how to balance that way better. I'm not that smart. Uh, and I'm not that talented, so I haven't figured it out. So, Uh. (laughs) so, So to me, it's like, uh, like ah, I kind of wind up doing the doing the, doing, the, doing the same deal, uh, and when um it, it in when my uh my my mom got 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 really sick, she uh uh she was diagnosed with a uh, glioblastoma, which is really super aggressive brain cancer oh that there's currently no cure for, uh uh there's there's no cure for it and and when the in in uh when the doc told me that um that like hey so we've we've done we've done successful uh we've like we've successfully identified like what like what this tumor is and here's here's the surgery to do uh but the reality of this is that there's no cure and it's awful. He's like, I don't have good news for you. There isn't any because it it just sucks, man. She's like, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be pain, and you're gonna lose your mom in the most painful way possible. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, you guys know someone to like, you know, help help take care of her or something. I'm like, well, I have a schedule that is uh, kind of flexible. Uh-huh. So, you know, and I had, I'd just gotten married the, uh, the, the year before. So, so, you know, I, uh, yeah, luckily my, my, my wife is awesome, but I, and your mom you, was there. You, you I mean, know, I'm I had sure to, she got to see you get married, which is probably huge. Yeah. Oh, she, she, she liked my wife more than me for, <laughs> for sure. Most, <laughs> oh yeah. She, she was like, oh yes, you yeah you are you are the right one she's that's amazing she's like you were already you were already my daughter before you legally became my daughter (laughs) uh so she was she was over the moon absolutely 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 adored her uh but but i was but i was like hey i know we uh I, I know we've got oh, ice creams here oh i I know we just i don't know if you can hear (laughs) you're at a baseball game (laughs) it's also no i think they also um they still have ice cream trucks driving around during engine? during COVID. They do, <laughs> they do, and there's there's one through that sounds like it's got like a diesel engine. So it's like, <laughs> who wants some smog with that vanilla? <laughs> God damn, guys! Run out there and grab one of those, but like those faces with the gumballs that are probably stuck in there from 1998. <laughs> yes, yeah, it kind of does make me wonder. Like what, what, what the stuff is. Cause like, I still remember being, they had the like candy cigarettes. Oh like, yeah. That is for sure. Not a thing anymore. <laughs> but you There's like, no way that... <laughs> they came in like a pack that that was awesome. I forgot about the candy. Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, then you'd get the little popper things and you know, we'd all throw oh, yeah. them at each other's feet and stuff. Sure. sure. You know, I was on going like, please stop it. <laughs> They heard. I was the one getting those thrown at me. Yeah, they did. They did. I'm like, this is real pain, you guys. It's not funny. <laughs> but, but when, like when, like when stuff hit the fan with uh with uh with when mom's help, I was like, I was like, I don't, uh, 
like there's there's we don't have the resources for for anyone else to like like a lot of really amazing family who can uh you know who can <coughs> who can help here and there but like we don't have like a 24 7 like it's like that's that's like there's no question it's me so sure you know so i was told my wife i'm like uh I, I i have to go be my mom's caretaker during right. during this she's like yeah you do she's like i'll 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 come out and i'll come out she was she was you know she's like i i can't get a lot of time off work but like when i do i'll 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 come out and help as well but i just went to um, uh you know we 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 were just at our apartment in los angeles and i would drive out to drive out to phoenix, phoenix. And, and 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 then it was it was like okay well now it's time to interface with uh interface with all these you know this entire cancer team of doctors you know okay. hey here's this specialist and this specialist and this specialist and you know this kind of uh this kind of uh you know physical therapy place or you know like okay we got to go do chemo. here's this stuff and all these other things to keep track of and then i just uh like there was there was a point where i'm like how how the hell am i gonna make music again? and uh it, it and it was like well i will have to because the only thing i know how to do and uh it's also uh it's also the, it's also, yeah, it, it's the only thing I know to do. And it's also the best outlet for this. Like if I, you know, if it, if, if I didn't depend on it for buying food, then it's, it's what I would be doing anyways. If I was in that spare room with this piano, mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, I was, I was taking care of my mom and, you know, and of course, like, there were there was no time to do like you know full on like film tv stuff <laughs> things like that so it's like i do some remixes and stuff like that uh i would do i would do writing songs while i was uh you know if there was any spare moment which there weren't many mm -hmm. you know it would it would have to be like uh I'm like i'm not going to get laptop time with stuff unless there's a time when i'm not in the same room which isn't which isn't very often uh so that would either happen you know every every now and again like i'd be, I'd be out there for you, you know for like uh for like two months or so taking care of her and then my wife would say like, you need to come home for like a weekend or a week just to like give yourself a mental reset mm -hmm. you know she's like let's find family to fill in for some of those days you come back here mm -hmm. you get some work done and then you go back and uh in any in any little spare moment like if she was in like physical fee or chemotherapy or something like that uh i i pull out the very laptop we're having this conversation on <laughs> and uh and do like sound design production on um on the song in the mountain uh and work on lyrics and stuff like that during that uh during that uh road trip is also where i would work out a lot of lyrics and, and stuff like that oh, uh, interesting. and that's that's also why um so like this entire trilogy is tied in with that experience mm -hmm. which also just uh something like that completely it just it kind of uh, like after after it just destroys the hell out of you uh you, you know and unfortunately she she past seven months after you know they they discovered the first tumor um like after a, after it completely after it completely destroys your world uh it's i think it's impossible to come out of that without having a giant perspective shift on some important and like holy hell like we don't have a lot of time left and there's so many things that are that are, that are just like there, you, you know, like when people say don't sweat the small stuff, it's like too fucking right, dude. It's mm -hmm. like, it's, there's, there's too, there's, there's too many things that people, uh, 
get hung up on. It's like, man, every day you wake up, like the first thing you should do is say thank you because you got to do that. And a lot of people don't. Sure. When they do, it's, it's, it's you know, there, there's a lot of people having a lot of difficulty, whether it's, you know, whether it's financial or health or, or something else. And like, and there's, and there's so, there's so many little things that, uh, that, that people worry about that, like, just, just don't matter. Uh, it, which is, which is also why the approach to these records was so different than I had done before, because I had never done anything. I, I, I realized after, huh, I had always been doing something. I was always kind of like, uh, y you know, whether it was, uh, whether it was like someone else saying like, Hey, to be this way or, uh, or, or me going, or, or, or me just personally going like, Hey, this should be this way. You know, having these songs with this dual purpose of like, Oh, it has this kind of viability and this kind of viability. I had, I, I was in that cycle and, and I'm like, huh, I've never really, I've never really made, made stuff to make stuff, mm -hmm. you know, to like, just to, just to get out and just to like, I don't care if this doesn't show up in, you know, in a, in, in a, in a movie or a, or a TV show or something like that. It's like, I've, I've shown up in some things. That's awesome. That's a, that, that's a, that's a cool feeling to even, even if it's not something that I do, I'm like, this isn't my deal, but it's someone's and that's super cool. It may be important to them. That's awesome. Uh, but when I was like, Oh, I've never really done this for me before. So, so these are the, these are the these are the first records that I that I really just kind of did with the exact same spirit that I did when I was when I was a kid just messing around with electronic music and discovering like oh my god you can do this kind of sound it's insane <laughs> what if I do this and I'm like oh <laughs> other people may not like this I'm like uh, that's fine. I, I'm making this for me. If other people like it, that rules. And I, and I, and I really hope that they do. And a lot of the, you know, a lot of the music that I like is, is stuff. That I know that this is super not for everybody, but it, oh, it's sure for me. So, <laughs> sure, sure. You know, so I'm like, I, like, I, I know that, I know that Blue Stolly is going to be that sort of band where like, oh, you know, someone's, someone's probably going to be in their car. I'm like, dude, you gotta, you gotta check this out. You, you gotta, you gotta listen to this thing. Your friend's going to be like, please turn, you have lost your ox privileges forever. <laughs> ox privileges. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. Like this is you, you will give this back and we speak of this day. I'm actually going to take you home. You, 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 this, what you <laughs> give me your phone. Me. I'm going to throw it out the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, Hey, guess what? This is the, this is the evolution of highway music. Is like oh, Blue Stolly on Spotify. Uh, yeah, highway records. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like I understand this, this is not this is not going to be everybody's cuppa, but uh, but this this was fully the this was fully the first time that it was that it was. I'm doing these. I'm doing these for me, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm I'm. I, I, I hope they help. I hope they help other people in, in, in both situations. It's a, like, I, I know that this is all, uh, know that this is all super weird stuff and you know, yeah, you, it, it's, it's it, going to show up in a, uh, it, probably going to show up in a TV show. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't designed to, it was first sure. and foremost, uh, to, to, to help me deal with the, uh, to help deal with the grief of this. And, uh, it's also, uh, it's, it's also a super fun endeavor because, uh, you know, it's, it's a hundred percent independent. It's, you know, it's, it's my wife and I in a, <coughs> in a, in a, in a, uh, a small, but incredibly, incredibly awesome team of friends and badasses who it's like, Hey, you guy from dread empire veracity uh who has done that forever would you help in in bringing these to life and he's like oh yeah that's my ideas so we're like oh you're the creative director now so, <laughs> that's awesome so we're like you're the director for all this action it's like because our conversations just like when we would um uh because i started out just wanting to make like 
like I was just gonna make one record <coughs> to make Obsidian. It's like that was gonna be my record to like deal with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was trying because I because doing so many different styles, uh, I was sort of <laughs> sort of putting that in into this record where I'm like, man, I flail around really super wild for wise. But this one is going to be, this one is going to be extra crazy. Uh, this would probably be better suited, stretched out over more records. So each of these styles has a room to, you know, has room to breathe. Otherwise, even the people who like the multi-genre approach of what I'd be like, good God. Oh, Highway <laughs> Records. Highway <laughs> Records. Uh, so, Always back to Highway Records. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we got to do the callbacks. Absolutely. <laughs> I love so, it. <laughs> so like that's 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 kind of also what 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 spawned the like okay if i'm doing stuff if i'm doing st if i'm doing stuff for the purpose of uh let's just make let's just make awesome let's just make awesome let's make awesome stuff you yeah. know not not that i not that that and that's 100 percent not to say that that was not the mindset or you know, or like, you know, or, or that that was discouraged or anything like that. It's, it's, it's just, uh, it's just my own personal approach. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like, like it's my, my head, my, my, my head is in a, I, I think like anyone's lost a parent and, and gone through that, uh, it, it puts your head in a place and it puts your priorities in a, in a, in a different place. And if you're, uh, it's bad enough losing a parent and it's even worse when you are the caretaker mm -hmm. and you know, and it's, and it's, uh, it's, it's that, it's that suffering every day that, uh, that it's like, you're not, you're not physically taking it on, but <coughs> to, uh, to be in the caretaker position of your of your parent and uh, uh, you know like i like i i i remember a night that um she, she was uh uh she was like you know she had like just taken the like just taken the chemo i heard her like you know it's, it's chemo so sure. she's thrown up right and, and and i'm like there's like, nothing i can do there's nothing i can do to stop this like i'm completely power like powerless and and I, I I I sat on the couch and uh, and uh, like opened my phone like let me let me, let me read about some other people's experiences taking care of their parents with this uh, you know with the same with the same uh, form of brain cancer and reading about some people's experiences they're like oh yeah if you think it's bad now it's gonna be so much worse I'm like. Oh. I should have put the phone away. I, I, should, I shouldn't have read that. Sure. Yeah. Oh I'm like, gosh. I guess that's why I'm also told not to Google my symptoms. Cause it's like, oh, <laughs> guess what? You have, oh, you stubbed your toe? Yeah, you have cancer now. Yeah, exactly. So, no, it's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna be something so horrible. So right. Oh yeah. my gosh. But it, you know, but like I, I, I'm the sort where I'm like, yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm still gonna look. I'm still gonna look. So, that's my wife uh, does that too, and she'll go into the doctor with like really her her diagnosis already. Like I have this, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and the doctor's like, don't do that. I my my, my doctor is told like the same. She's like, do not. She's like, if you have a question. You ask me, do not Google it. <laughs> right, right, exactly. It's, yeah, and my my wife, had, you, you know, when I when I just like, what did the doctor say? I'm like, yeah, I know, <laughs> but, not what I thought. But, yeah, so it's like, <laughs> it's yeah, I'm like I I guess it's fine. Kicks imaginary can. But, but like, I th I think like um, I think when like not to diminish anyone's experience because they're all they're all different and if you're if you're not um if you don't have the ability to uh you know i was i was incredibly fortunate that my soul allowed that i could like take some time to uh you know to like oh. take care of my mom mm -hmm. and the nature of the type of work that i did yeah. was like well there's people are still buying merch. They're still buying records. 
uh, hey, a placement came in, that's kind of cool, you know, or like there's still, you know, there's still something from like, oh, this this TV show is running in, uh, you, you know, is, is running in these international territories. And that's, there's, there's a little bit coming in from there. And, you know, I was like, also, I, I, uh, I just got married. My, my wife had been before me. I moved in with her. So this, <laughs> so like there's, I will have a place to live at the, at, at the end of this, at least. Um, but you know, so that's like, <clears throat> not everyone has that, not everyone that ability. And I'm sure it like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure in a lot of ways that's even more difficult, not like having that powerlessness amplify you can't take care of your mom or dad when they're sure. when they're in need or like you know maybe they're on the other country and you're like i can't i can't leave my job mm -hmm. you, you know mine was like well my job is wherever the laptop is right you know? right you had the luxury, so, luxury you know, so, like, so to speak but of, of doing yeah. that yeah but yeah, but 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 it, but it really is, you know, it's like my like all my lines come from me like singing into the phone or like pacing back and forth while a song loops endlessly. So it's like, it's like, <laughs> well, I, I don't need to be in a specific place for that to happen. That, mm -hmm. you know, that right. that can be in a small, uh, that can be in a small room or, you know, yeah. that can be, you know, in a waiting room Does, doesn't matter. So it's like, I, I was fortunate to have that opportunity to uh you know to 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 be her caretaker and, and that but like it it definitely does it definitely does change uh yeah it, it it definitely does shift your shift your priorities and and uh like yeah it even though it does depress out of you and of course that's the that that's that that's a thing that never goes away Sure. It's like, it destroys you and you're down and, it, and like, you know, it's like, that's a massive weight that crushes on you. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to get up, but you're like, you're going to at least have those rocks in your back mm -hmm. from, from, from where that is. And, you, and you're, and you're going to feel them. And maybe it's a weird thing of like, oh, when I lean back against this wall, like, oh yeah, I can feel all those rocks are, st are, are mm -hmm. down. but you learn ways to deal with it and mm -hmm. life life keeps going and there's, yeah. there is still good to find. And there's still like, there's, there's so many amazing things that have, uh, that have, that have happened since then. I mean, hell, like we, um, the, like the, like, like I mentioned the fact that we, um, you know, when we had to like clean out her house and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, the, uh, when we, when we sold her, her place in Phoenix, that uh that helped us get the the place that we like we wouldn't have been able to we we wouldn't have been able to get so otherwise so it's like that was that that was the sort of thing where it's like was, this is definitely this is a gift not to be squandered and sure. this is this like like life itself is to be appreciated and and, and also uh there's there's just so many small things to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's easy to, it's easy to forget that stuff. And I always constantly need a reminder of that as well. Sure. But that's, that's, that's kind of why I also, that's, that's what makes me grateful that there's so awesome people making wild music there's mm -hmm. there's so much cool out there now and there's so and there's 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 so many there's there's so many cool movies books and things like that and there's you know there's when when we can actually go talk to people again in person there's there's there there's there, there's a lot of really amazing people out there and you know the, yeah yeah it's the i i think there's i think there's definitely something balancing <coughs> all of the all of the because that's man like mortality is something awful yeah <laughs> and, you know and when, and when you're seeing that kind of <clears throat> when you're seeing that kind of suffering close up no i don't know how nurses and doctors i can specialists and stuff do it like that's yeah. it's man like i 
I, I, I don't know how they like we, we we have family members who do that who are e, like we have an er doctor family like i don't i don't know how she does her job every she's a superhero you know right like, sure super, super I, I i i couldn't do it uh -uh. You, you know so it's like i'm like who who cares about um not like my dumb techno music i'm just so i'm like i i'm i just i'm just doing this to to like get it out there like it does something for hopefully it does something for someone else but uh but the main i think the main like i'm always going to split my time between um you know because I have, I have to buy food. Sure. Uh, so I'm always going to, I'm always going to time between the day job stuff of like, you know, like, Oh, you want to take a crack at like doing something for a movie or like writing a custom piece or, mm -hmm. you know, doing some stuff for, for this video game or whatever. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, because, because it's the only thing I know how to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and, 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 and even though it'd be cool to be a doctor, I'm not smart and I know I shouldn't. So, <laughs> So, <laughs> so it's so it's like like i i know i know my i know the stuff i'm marginally good at uh -huh. and i can kind of do me so i guess i'll kind of do music uh I think so you're now, pretty good at yeah that. It, it is it is fully oh i appreciate you i, I um, think a lot of people would agree especially by your numbers on spotify <laughs> oh awesome I'm, I, I'm 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 glad people dig it because the I, I hope that it does for other people what, um, even though it's weird, uh, you know, and not music for everybody, I hope that the people that are into it, uh, I, I hope that it, I hope that it does for them what uh, like certain bands and artists and stuff have, have, have done for me when it's, you know, when, uh, you know, like I, I know all the, all the lyrics across this trilogy are like, with, with the exception of some of the like, you know, kind of just done for fun stuff on mm -hmm. court, most of the lyrics on this on this trilogy are just such bummer stuff because it's because it's me dealing with grief. I'm like, sure. this is this is gonna bum some people out. This, these are all pretty depressing lyrics. But uh, I also very clearly remember times where uh, where I'm like, well, uh, she's now in the ICU, so let's uh, like time to drive back up to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, like on that drive, I didn't want to hear sunshine, lollipops and rainbows right. everywhere. Mm -hmm. you know? It's like, th those are not the lyrics to connect with me. Sure. So uh, like the, you know, all the stuff that I was listening to was, was very, uh, was, was very, was very dark. And that's I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm sure that whatever was going on in these people's lives uh, was was probably pretty terrible to uh, to have to hired this, and it sucks that they it sucks that they had that suffering, uh, but they took that suffering and 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 made art out, of it. and that's that's something amazing, and it's and it's something that's like. You know, it may not be, it may not be for everybody, but it's amazing to me. And I, and I appreciated the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, just the, just the fact that that stuff existed and the fact that it helped through. So that's what, that's what I hope my stuff does. Even if it's a, uh, even if it's super songs, if it's the super bummer songs or, it's, or it's the ones that are like, Hey, this is just a good beat and the, and the, and, and the lyrics and fun, uh, either, either one of those is good. I love that. I love that. And I'm, and it's something that's relatable to, to everyone. I mean, everyone will experience some sort of loss at one point or another. So they have that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that everyone is going to be able to relate to at some point. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's one of those things that it's like, it's a, it's one of those one of those universal it's 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 one of those universal experiences and, mm -hmm. and universals that like even though even though it's even though this has been the course of life uh and the course of experience you know for our entire time on this and it and it, and it ain't gonna change uh it's it it doesn't make it any 
uh, you know, even if you know it's coming, you know, it's like kind of nothing can. It's not going to be easier. <laughs> right, right. Sure. It's not going to yeah. make it any easier, but at least, you know, you were able to cope with it in a way that you put out three amazing records and a, and a trilogy. I mean, able to go back to your really your roots. And, and you like you're saying, you're talking about the, the the titles of the records all having to do with, you know, Phoenix and and the drive back and forth. I mean, you it kind of went full circle for you, even with you're talking earlier about people are like, I don't, you know, how come some of your songs have words and some of them don't? And it's like, well, your middle record is all instrumental. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There are, uh, oh, I've just noticed they have 16% left. Let me go grab my, let me go grab my charger. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> my, go ahead. My, com my computer's about to shut off. I'll be oh, right back. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I only have a couple more questions for you. <laughs> catch it I'll bet I can <laughs> glorious <laughs> there we go I yeah I didn't want you to uh I I just noticed how low the power was I'm like oh my god this guy's gonna think I got mad at a question I'm like you know what interview over <laughs> <laughs> Slam the yeah. computer close. <laughs> yeah, I'm like well, this Zoom session is over as of now. <laughs> so I'm like, God, I got, let, let me get this power cord. Uh, but yeah, that's the. I'm I'm very glad that what I do gives me the opportunity to to do something like this trilogy, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> uh, in 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 some of the the middle record copper. Uh, because Quartz and Obsidian had a uh, uh, had so much of a like guitar mm -hmm. focus on it, uh, <coughs> I very specifically wanted Copper to have no guitar whatsoever. Oh, interesting. Uh, and there's a lot of there's a lot of this very piano on that record wow. that I was like, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this. But uh, I would either make like a little ambient pad or something like that, or make a beat, and then uh, put on headphones and just like improvise some stuff on here, record that, and use it as a sample. And you know, sometimes completely twisting it and you know, like uh, like manipulating it and, mm -hmm. and distorting it into 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 something else. So it's like there's things on on that record that sound like synths that are actually this that piano, just really like a bunch of crazy effects and stuff like that. Wow. And so where it's just completely purely just out there. Uh, and because that record represented the, the drive back and forth between, uh, between the two places that I lived, Phoenix uh -huh. and, and Los Angeles, um, you know, and I had taken that desert drive many times because anytime there was you know if if i had been out there if i had been out in phoenix uh you know for like a for like a month or two months uh then uh i have a lot of amazing uh family and friends who who were like, hey we can all rotate out and help take care of her while you you mm -hmm. know while you oh, go I, back to angeles and sort of you know uh regroup get some work done and then come back out here. So it's like, you know, they'd kind of like rotate out day after day or, you know, someone who could be out there, someone's like, I'm retired. I can, I can, I can, I can come out there and hang for a little bit. Sure. Uh, so, uh, so I, I did that drive many times and I wanted copper to, I wanted copper to feel like that drive, uh, but also feel like it was a drive between two cities. So mm -hmm. I see, I see, and Obsidian as these as these two cities, 
even that, you know, and not that each one fully represents, you know, Phoenix and Los sure. Angeles, because sure. it's more like cities on a journey, sure, uh, sure. you know, because it's like, oh, we're, we're, we're on a journey through grief. Ain't that fun? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to come aboard the journey of grief? All aboard. <laughs> uh, this is, we did not sell a lot of tickets to this. Anyway, we got <laughs> so, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> but like, that's like, I wanted, uh, I wanted the copper to, uh, to to be able to really pay homage to why yeah. I'm even able to make music right now, and that's that's because of my mom. That's that's because of her. That's because of her influence, and in, in because she was absolutely a person who, you know, while every other person was, uh, you know, was like, hey, you're you're pretty good at music you won't be able to make a living at that you should on the side and like find it you know like obviously obviously this is something you really like this is cool but you need to have a way to like you need to have a way to like buy food mm -hmm. and you know and live in an apartment I'm like oh okay i guess sure so but but she was always like, yeah you know you do you do have to you do have to do that but all these all these guys that you look up to uh, found a way to do music for a living. So there's a way you can figure that out too. So like that, you know, that's, that's why, that's why I get to do this is because of her, her not only encouraging me, but like pushing me. She's like, she's like, this, you, this is something that you actually love. So don't give up on it. You do this. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm like, Oh, Oh, I love okay. that. Yeah. I, yeah. Not everybody I, has that type of, uh, you know, encouragement. No, no, I was, I was very fortunate. I was very fortunate to have that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And that's amazing that you're able to put that piano <laughs> on the record as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's the, it's the, I, I never, you know, I was, uh, I never really had, had much cause to, to do so earlier. And, you know, it's an, and I, I, didn't live it more. So it's like, I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have access to it, but mm -hmm. like after, uh, part of why, like part of why that piano sounds the way it does on the record, uh, is, uh, is because I, I recorded it the same way I would like deal when, um, when it was like during the, like during the last, <coughs> during the last month of, uh, of, her life, uh, if she was, if she, you know, she was like in the, she's like in the ICU, like I, you know, uh, it's like, okay, we're, we're like being for surgery or something. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna you know, drive back, drive back to the house I'll, and I'll, I'll come back here first thing in the morning. Um, it, you know, and sometimes, I, sometimes, I, you know, sleep up there. But the, but the times that I like times that I was back at the house, uh, I didn't, I didn't have a guitar until, uh, uh, one of my buddies like loaned me his acoustic. He's like, here, you need to, you need to like write some stuff on. But even when I had that, I kept coming back to the, to the piano and like, you know, still in my little way of like, I don't know what any real chords are. I don't know what any real theory, uh, but I'd like record it on my. You know, so I wouldn't forget it. I'd record it on, on my phone, mm -hmm. and that's how all the piano was recorded for Copper. I still that's recorded amazing. it on my phone and then just like emailed it to myself. But it, I'm like, I don't care. It doesn't sound like I don't want it to. Like it's, it's an out of tune old beat up piano, <laughs> and I'd, the way that I would catalog ideas is on the phone. Like, and I don't like stuff that sounds. I don't, you know, even though even though sometimes. You know, I can I can overproduce things. Them sound too polished. I like mm -hmm. stuff that sounds a little more. You know, I personally Rid like stuff that sounds a little more rotting. So it's you know, like I'm never able to like fully capture. It, but like this was this was my way of going. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna have some like lo-fi elements in this. I'm like I don't I don't care that this stuff doesn't sound perfect. And I don't even know what kind of genre of music I'm making. Uh, it's just gonna let whatever happens happen and it's it's made purely for that purpose
Yeah, I love that. And I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy that you're able to use that, that piano in the recording and everything. That's, that's, that's such a cool, like, you know, almost like an homage to your mom and, and, and with the, with the three records and kind of your way to deal with it and all. And, and it's, 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 it's moving, man. It's cool. I appreciate that. Thank you yeah. very much. Mm -hmm. And, and I really appreciate you talking with me today, Brett. Thank you so much. This has been awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank you. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I realized as we've, as we've now seen day turn to night for me on, on, on my end, at least I'm like, Oh my God, I rambled myself on this thing. <laughs> no, hell. man, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love, I mean, I love how open you are, man. This is so cool. Like I, like I said, this isn't about me. This is about your journey and how, and how you got to where you are now. And I, and I appreciate you sharing it so much with us. I mean, wow. And then thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I had never really, uh, like, like kind of before, uh, uh, like obviously with, with any song I put out, like the, like the intent is like first foremost, it's like, well, this is, this is to like, you know, keep, like keep my head on. Right. Like I, mm -hmm. I have my personings for these things. And, and a lot of times I, I very purposefully write in the abstract, uh, you know, with, with the ultimate goal of like, I, I, I hope that someone takes this and, uh, you know, contextualizes these lyrics to help them. It's like, sure. They, they were, they were born of this, you know, of like, like whatever, you know, like, like, like all the, you know, like these songs for, you know, dealing with this stuff. And, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, although there, there are, there are a couple, there are a couple just for friends on, um, <laughs> uh, on, on, on courts all, all the way from like, here's, here's me trying to fit in every, um, every possible cyberpunk reference that I possibly can from, from like cyberpunk novels, uh, all, all the way to like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's one called, this is so silly. There's one called Power Outrage on on courts mm -hmm. that was <laughs> literally written about. Did you ever see? Uh, uh, did you ever read the book or see the show Altered Carbon? No, I have not. I'll check it out though. So I I love the book and loved and loved the whole trilogy, but Netflix made a show. Oh. Awesome. Okay. And there there was there was a character in the book uh, named, uh, named Carnage. And, and when I heard that they were making a show, I'm like, oh man, they're going to someone fun for this dude. Like this is, I don't know who this is going to be, but they're going to be very entertaining to watch. And it was Matt Frewer, who was Max Headroom. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh my God, like <laughs> one of the original, like one of the original, like cyberpunk, like right. figure, literally figurehead is this hilarious character and he's he like chews every bit of scenes in such the best way he's like such a oh you know just a fun just sure. a like fun, like he's a villain but it's like it's so fun to watch him uh -huh. that sort of thing so i'm like i'm gonna write a theme song for him you know because <laughs> I, I was like i was like i already know like records are going to be about like you know, super heavy stuff but i'm gonna have some fun here and there so it's like mm -hmm. there's songs like that and like like crime wave where, where it's like this is this this is literally j just like like what would be playing in a in a video game character's head sure like, ah, pro pro probably <laughs> something like this like we, we we gotta have some fun songs in there here mm -hmm. here and there but but like but with all of that uh I'm just i i i hope that even even though the even though these lyrics were, you know, a, a way for me to either, hey, hear a little levity, or, or you know, uh, or or process or process some of this, uh, process some of this stuff, you know, like the like the <laughs> like the song catastrophe saying physical catastrophe, it's, you know, <laughs> and, and like, you know, or, or or saying fill this all with with blasphemy, because like, yeah, there's plenty of times I, you know be in my car yelling god damn it sure <laughs> you know you know because who who wouldn't feel that uh right right you know all all the way to like all the way to uh 
you know, like like the song Obsidian saying like we descend in in Obsidian. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It like what wow. a, what a what a super dark way to open a record. Going like we're all gonna die. Remember, <laughs> right, uh, right, like right. like okay, we've said we're all gonna die. Now let's let that beat drop. Uh, <laughs> even though let's let the beat drop. <laughs> yeah, even though there's that, I hope that um that people can take uh can take these songs and um just like anything else i've done uh i hope they can i hope they can take them and um and just like just uh, just apply them to to whatever their situation is and if it's you know like every everyone's struggling everyone's going through a hard time you know everyone 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 deserves compassion so i i hope that everyone finds it i love that thank well thank you again thank you so much brad i have one more question for you before i let you go i want to know if yeah, you have if you have any advice for aspiring artists oh yeah this uh, so things have like like the world is such a different the world is such a different way for like like when i started out like there there wasn't even um there wasn't even you know like you can open up youtube and type in how do i make x genre of music mm -hmm. and whatever that genre of music is there's like 50,000 people going like here's the way to make this style of music or here's the way to use this type of where like here's how, like you can learn how to do so much stuff. Uh, and there's also so many resources to just to, you know, like uh, stream and Spotify and uh, in like, you know, like, uh, like all these services that are that are available to people to, to just get their stuff out. Uh, and it, it doesn't matter what their um, it doesn't matter what their ambition is if they're if they just want to do it if they just want to do it as a hobby or if they want to be someone who's like i want to be uh i want to be like a like a super famous pop star be a super famous rock star and have people look up to me like all the way back to the person going like i don't really care i just want to like do this stuff for fun all of that stuff is valid and that stuff should be respected uh the the most important thing for all of those people is to just start because the there's there's so many times that you built and i i still to this day i'll have like you know some some project that i've built up in my head like like doing this trilogy i, I was like oh my god how am i how am i even gonna how am i even gonna do this and i just i just i just had to start and you're you're gonna get a lot of stuff wrong and that's that's what that's what lets you 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 make a you you know you make you make mistakes you fall down you get up you try something you try something else you do this now and it you never know you never know what's gonna you never know what's gonna stick and you know what's gonna lead you where you know there's 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 no way to predict what life is gonna throw at you so be ready to roll with it. Just start doing stuff. And no matter what you do, there's an audience for it. You can do the most wild, awful stuff. And guess what? There's people who only want that. And they're like, huh, I've heard more off stuff. What else you got? So it's like, you're not going to be weird enough for those people. <laughs> you know, and it's like, there's, there's entire shows that people play that are, that are stuff that like a lot of people uh may not understand and it's not for that it's it's meant for it's meant for this core group of people and that's awesome so if that's your if that's your vibe do it it like everything is valid and yeah don't don't let anyone tell you you can't Bring it.